it's Andrew, welcome back to a brand new exciting video. Well, this is kind of different, usually I start off my videos like super formal inside like my office or something, but today I thought I would just shake some stuff up and start off a little bit more casual. As you guys saw from that bit, I am still really sick and it's been going on for like two weeks now, so I wonder when that's gonna end. Just constant coughing and cough drops and all sorts of stuff. Today is a really beautiful day outside, it's like such good weather, it does not feel like winter at all. Anyways guys, today I've got a super cool transition for you, I think you're really gonna like it, it's useful, it can be used not only for video clips and everything like that, but it can also be used for motion graphics and texts and things like that. Real quick before we hop on the computer and talk about the effects, recently, like a week or two ago, I was on a podcast. Social media in general is just becoming more and more saturated, and it's only going to get more saturated. There are so many people who want to be content creators. There's a super fun podcast. It's called The Waves Podcast. I'm going to link it down below. It's like an hour long, so it's pretty long, and you guys get to see more of a raw, uncut version of myself. All right, everybody, so I'm on the computer now inside of Adobe After Effects. I've got three clips right here. Now, the first thing you guys need to do is head down to the description of this video and download the ink background footage. Just hit the drive link and it's gonna bring you to a page that looks something like this and you can just select the footage, right click, and hit download. Now, there's two different versions of these. There's the MP4 ink footage and then there's the AVI ink footage. The MP4 is gonna be a lot easier to download. It's not gonna take nearly as much time, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to work with. Whereas the AVI footage, it's the highest quality version and the background, the black, is already gonna be transparent. So you're not gonna have to key it out or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do the AVI footage first because it's easier. And then after that, I'll show you how to use the MP4. So it's really, really quite simple. What we're gonna do is choose one of these three different variations of the ink. We're gonna drag it on top of this second clip here. We're gonna go down to the second clip and where it says track matte, if you guys don't see that, just go ahead and hit toggle switches and modes and it should come up and change it from none to Alpha Matte Link 1 AVI. And now check this out. You got that nice ink just kind of fading on slowly. It really is that easy. You just drag and drop and change it to Alpha. And then if you're using this as a transition, you just want to drag these clips over on top of the first clip, uh, something like that. So now when we play through, you can see that it fades on on top of that clip. And it's a really nice, smooth transition. Now, one thing you guys might notice is that it doesn't fill the clip all the way out. The reason I did this is because you guys can mess around with the scale of it. So if you want the ink to fade all the way on to reveal the second clip you can do that but if not you have the option to scale it down as well all right so I've got my mp4 footage right here in the timeline and really all we're gonna have to do is add the luma key effect and then you're gonna make sure the key type is key out darker and set the threshold to around 23 once you've done that it's the exact same thing we go down to the clip we want to fade on and change the track mat to alpha mat. Cool, so now you guys can see we've got that fading on transition effect. Now the thing to mention is that did take a little bit longer and it just doesn't look as good in my opinion. When you use something as choppy as the luma key effect, you lose some of the details like the opacity being slightly different and things. So I definitely recommend downloading the full on high res version. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and then hit that bell next to the subscribe button to turn on post notifications. Comment down below letting me know what videos you guys want to see in the future. I think that's about it, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.